Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to the another video and iOS 26.2 RC update is out. The update size is of 8.3.32 gigs. As you can see, it depends on from which iOS version you are coming and which iPhone you are using. It can be different for you guys. Um, there are a few things I want to discuss in this video. First of all, if I want to install this update, I will get good as a journal software update. Make sure to select developer beta. If I select public beta and I go back from here, once the public beta is selected, I will see iOS 26.2 public beta uh, for RC update for the public beta 2 and also for the developer beta. So on this device, I am using iOS 26.2 public beta 2. Let's see if the update is out over here. And yes, the update is also out here um, for the public beta 2. So for the developer beta and also for the public beta, I was very disappointed to RC is out. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss a few things. Also, I want to share how the battery life is going on and some important news regarding Geekbench because there are actually surprises. So first of all, all the issues that were you were facing in 26.1 are going away. When you go to the widget screen and go to the home page, 26.1 was lagging a lot. But that is fixed. That is a really good news. Even if I show you on this device, it is fixed as you can see. It is a really good thing. A really, really nice thing, honestly. So lag's been fixed with 26.2 RC update, which is a nice scene. And if I talk about the noticeable changes, when you are into your, you know, lock screen and you go and customize, now you can change the liquid glass for your clock, as you can see. It is your choice which one you want and I think this one is a nicer one but again it is your choice if you want you know to choose this one or whatever you want to keep you can do that that is a nice change with the iOS 26.2 update also the mirror app got updated now mirror app has a liquid glass UI as you can see that looks really nice I just love the UI of iOS 26.2 to my your app which is a really nice thing also if you use apple reminders which is a really nice app honestly if you create any reminder you now you will have an option of urgent over here as you can see and if the urgent is on it will actually give you um alarm of that specific reminder a very useful thing it is going to definitely make you much much more productive and once you are in your settings and you go to the airdrop go all the way down over here now you have manage non airdrop contacts basically what is this you can you know share one time code with anyone when you are airdropping anything and that contact will be over here and it will stay over here for the 30 days so this is another nice change um, there are a few noticeable changes in Apple Podcasts too, where it automatically creates chapters if the creator hasn't put, you know, hasn't mentioned any sort of chapters. This is going to create chapters automatically. That is another big take, honestly. Um, so yeah, again, I was 26.2 RC is over here. I'm very happy to see this update. And actually, with the uh, Geekbench, there are surprises. I just read the Geekbench and I got the highest, highest, highest ever Geekbench on beta 3, I guess. I got 3,500 on a single core, which is insanely high, and 8,942 on a multi core. Higher than the average one, higher than the average one. These cores are the best yet on any update. I never got this much high score as you can see over here. As you can see, not this much high so these are the best 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 scores and it also reflects in the performance because performance is great 27852 on a, a gpu metal score which is also higher than the average one which is again a good sign if i talk about how the battery is been acting from few days i will get into the sorry i will get into the over here maybe let's go to this door here I use seventy seven percent got a four hour and thirty hour screen times. We I use TikTok, WhatsApp, Instagram. Not the best battery life, but a decent battery life. Over here I use seventy one percent got seven hours 
a much better battery life. Use TikTok, WhatsApp, Instagram, some other applications. Over here, I use like 73% and I got 7R and 4 minute again, a really good battery life, honestly. So yeah, it's a really good update. Battery life is amazing. Performance is amazing. Everything is so far really amazing in iOS 6.2 update so far. And now right after this video, I'm going to install the RC update and I will share my experience of the RC update by tomorrow. So yeah, wait for the video that will come by tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.